Thales' theorem states that if A, B, and C are points on a circle where the line A, B is the diameter of the circle, then the angle A, C, B is a right angle. Here you see a half circle with the diameter A, B. And there's a point O that marks the center, all right? That is the midline of A, B. With this slider, what we will do is draw the line O, C to complete three triangles. Here we have indicated uh, similar lengths. So you can see the line A, O, O, C, and O, B are all the radius of the circle. And uh, according, and if we remember the case for the isosceles triangle, we will remember that for two equal sides, the base of those attaching sides are uh, the angle that is from uh, the base to uh, one of the uh, equal length sides. The angles that are created there are the same. So in this case, the angle CAO and the angle ACO um, are equal. And if we look at uh, the other case for the other triangle, we see that the angle, uh, the sides that are the same length, OB and OC, right, we will get uh, the same angle for uh, OBC as we will for BCO. O. And then we have marked those uh, angles indicating that they are the same by having them the same color, right? Now, if we add 33 degrees with 57 degrees, it is clear to see now that the angle that is created for ACB will add up to 90 degrees. The beauty of Thales' theorem, or Thales theorem is that this is true for any point on uh, for, for, for any point where C may be along this angle. So here as we move it starting from the left, and when we start moving it over to the right, we see that the angles will increase 61 and 29. We add those up and we see that also adds up to 90. and we move it all the way around, and we see that the same is also true on the other side. This is Staley's theorem.